Hi there, my name's Simon, and welcome to another episode of the Maserati Guy. Today we're off on another quest to try and find an SL. Um, as I said in my last video, um, still looking for a possible replacement for the CL500. Um, so I'm going to look today at an SL500 up on the northern beaches. Uh, it looks quite nice. It's in um, tellurium silver, which is a kind of bluey um, silver colour. Uh, with a lovely deep blue interior um, so yeah looks nice um, it's way overpriced so I'm hoping that uh, and it's been on their lot for nine months so they're clearly not going to sell it at that price so I'm hoping that they might be prepared to uh, negotiate quite heavily on that price um, I'm hoping that I can get it over to um, also active for a PPI this afternoon. So here's the car we're looking at. It's a 2004 SL500 in tellurium silver, which is a kind of bluey, silvery color. Very attractive. Car's in really good condition. Paintwork is excellent. The wheels are a bit bland, but I can put my um, nice AMG wheels on it. And the interior is a beautiful blue leather with unusual black ash wood inserts. So after we looked at the car yesterday, um, I struck a tentative deal on it, um, trading in the CL500 and um, paying a, a bit extra for the SL500. I say a bit extra. It's a fair, it's a fair chunk extra, but um, I acknowledge that the SL is more of a collector's car than the CL. Uh, CLs are going for very little right now, even though mine is in particularly good condition. It's just not going to make that much difference to the value. So therefore, I'm going to take a hit on it. But I think the SL, if it is in good condition and it gets a good PPI. I think it will be more of an investment. It will be more of a, of a potential collector's car going forward. So the plan is um, that tomorrow morning um, I'm going over to the dealer to pick up the SL500, um, drive it down to Leichhardt to get the PPI done. Um, and that will give me a chance to obviously explore the car um, in a genuine driving situation in real traffic um, on my own. I can take it on some freeways, um, I can try it around town. Um, it uh, gives me a real opportunity to really test it out, which is great. So uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning when uh, we're going over to collect the SL500. Good morning on Thursday morning and we're just driving over to the dealership to collect the SL500 uh, to take it for the PPI in Leichhardt. So yesterday, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I um, the, the guy that's purchasing this car um, wanted the original 18 inch CL wheels back on it. So yesterday I put those back on it actually drives even more like a boat with, with those um, higher profile tyres on. Crazy really. <laughs> it's even more comfortable than it was before. Um, so, uh, so yeah, um, I'm hoping if I go ahead and purchase the SL500, um, I'm hoping to fit the 19 inch AMG alloys onto it. Currently it's got some very daggy, bland 17 inch alloys on it. That's probably one of the reasons why it's not been sold because it really does look pretty daggy, I have to say. Um, so that's, that's an advantage from my perspective. So I can uh, put those on. So here we are in the SL500, just driving it away from the dealer. Um, so I'm taking it to Leichhardt for a PPI 
initial impressions are pretty good. Um, steering seems 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 good. Engine seems um, powerful and um, smooth. Um, brakes are okay. A little bit of a rattle coming from the back somewhere. I can't quite work out where that's coming from, but it's kind of pretty trivial, really. Um, we can work that out. So yeah, it's got this beautiful blue interior. Um, the equipment and switch gears kind of similar to the CL500. So yeah, it's got a more sporty feel. Um, same head unit, but I'm gonna I'd replace that if I was gonna get a a new one. I was gonna, if I bought the car, I would get a new new head unit. Um, so it's got a much more sporty kind of instrument cluster, which is, um, you know, the, the CL is definitely pitched as a luxury car. Um, it's the S-Class, you know, S-Class um, Coupe. Um, so that's why it um, has, you know, it focuses on luxury rather than sportiness. Whereas this, you can immediately hit, you can sense the engine the engine noise is more prominent in the cabin um, which is quite nice because it's supposed to be a sporty car rather than a, a luxury cruiser so we are just coming up to Robert Keane So over the course of about an hour and a half, they carried out a very thorough pre-purchase inspection, which actually picked up more um, items than on the previous car that I'd brought over a few days earlier, despite the fact that this car was clearly a much better example. And that led me to question the value of a PPI on a car of this age. It's 14 years old, there's going to be things wrong with it. What you're looking for when you um, commission a PPI is really guidance on whether you should go ahead with a particular vehicle or whether you should pass on it. If you're looking to purchase a modern vehicle, then a PPI would give you comfort as to whether proper servicing has been carried out or whether there are significant problems. But I decided to proceed with this vehicle despite the PPI results. And this led me to question the value of such a report in a car of this age. So good morning on a very exciting day. Um, it's actually forecast to be one of the warmest days in Sydney in July in uh, history, I think. It's uh, forecast to go to 25 degrees, which is crazy in July because it's the middle of winter here in Sydney. Um, so it's a good day to be picking up uh, convertible SL500 uh, which is what I'm going to be doing um, so on a sadder note of course it will be time to say goodbye to the CL500 um, it's a beautiful car and it has been um, really great to drive but um, I think the time has come to now um, change it over for a um, convertible um, I think I have found a nice SL uh, which I hope will give me uh, a lot of enjoyment um, when the weather improves. Um, so what we've got to do is we have got to remove the um, got to remove the number plate covers, um, and then I've just got to replace the the wheel brace in the back. And there are some CDs in the back which I'll take out. Um, then we have to go to the RTA, which is the um, Rego uh, Centre. Um, where we have to swap over these plates for some standard plates then go and pick up the SL500 and then go back to the RTA and swap out the standard plates back for my um, custom plates a bit of a faff but uh, shouldn't take too long hopefully so just one final look around the car in a rather sentimental way it's 
got the old wheels back on it now, um, as it looked when I bought it. It's a real classic, it's a beautiful car, there's no doubt. It will give somebody a lot of enjoyment, I'm sure. Um, but I think the time has come, you know, with, with three two-door, four-seat coupes, I think the time has really come to get a convertible. And I do love the SL, the SL R230 shape. So I think I'm gonna enjoy having something a little bit different. It's gorgeous, it's a great shape, great design. So we'll head off to the dealer now and uh, I'll see you when we get there. This is just one of the crazy features of the CL500, okay, just to show you. So this has a, obviously it's got a mirror under there with a light vanity mirror, which is all completely normal. But look, if you slide this across, that's a magnified version. That's a magnified mirror, normal mirror, magnified mirror let's see if I can show you in the camera normal mirror magnified mirror does any other car have that feature let me know in the comments I've just been to the RMS or the RTA um, to get the standard plates put on the car um, and now I'm just driving to the dealer and we'll um, pick up the car, the new SL500, and then we'll go back to the RMS and pick up the um, the M Guy three plates again. So yeah, this is the last drive in the CL500. It's been good. It's been good. We've had it for nearly a year. I think I got it on the 1st of September 2017, and it's today is the 6th of July. Oh no, so 10 months. No, no, no. Yeah, 10 months. 10 months. 10 months so um, yeah didn't do many kilometers in it probably did you know fewer than 2,000 kilometers total um, but it was it was a fun car to have I think I'll use the SL 500 more I think um, you know being a convertible it will it will get used more um, and that's and that's obviously good um, so yeah exciting so all the paperwork is done just walking towards the car now. It was all very casual. Like, uh, well, it was all very easy. And here she is. Here she is. How about that? And it is going to be a gorgeous day here in Sydney. And what a day to pick up a CL500. How exciting is that? Beautiful. So here we are. First drive in the SL500, which we now own. That's pretty cool. So let's get the plates, go home, and then we'll do a proper, a proper drive later. So here we are. The SL500. So I thought I'd just give you a quick uh, tour around it um, and uh, then I'll do a proper review and a proper uh, drive uh, a bit later. I'm going to be away for a few days so I'll have to wait till I get back to do that. But I thought I'd just give you a quick look around it. Um, I think you'll agree it does look absolutely magnificent. Um, you'll see I've put the AMG wheels on. Um, which just make it look um, about a million times better than uh, it did with those daggy 17 inch wheels on. Um, I've got the M Guy 3 plates on um, and it is looking absolutely stunning. So, really thrilled, really thrilled. Um, I think it's a great upgrade from the CL500. Um, so, let's take a look around it.
I know I used to go on a lot about um, how great the CL500 looked, but this, God, just look at it. Oh my God, it is just, it's even nicer than the CL500. I think that just looks absolutely freaking awesome. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed um, watching the process of purchasing this SL500 as much as I've enjoyed making it. Um, I hope you agree that it's a fantastic looking car. It's, um, it really is a step up from the uh, CL500 and that was, that was gorgeous to look at and beautifully designed. But this I just feel is a, is a class above. Uh, very, very happy with it. Looking forward to taking it for some long drives um, when, I've, when I've got a bit of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed um, this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give the like a click. Don't forget to click subscribe. Um, also, you can follow me on Instagram at MaseratiGuy2017. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.